What's up everybody? We're here at Los Angeles Zoo today. Um, we are going to go in. Right now it's around 12. That's our ticket time. So right now, due to the pandemic, they have they require reservations and it's $22 for non-members and uh, free for infants. And we're excited to go go to the zoo. It's our first time. Let's go. So right now we're at Reggie's Bistro. It's right overlooking Reggie's pen. Reggie is a celebrity of some sort in this area because he actually just showed up at the lake in Harbor City and uh, around 2005, I think. And uh, I remember it being on the news and it was a whole big deal about this alligator being in that man-made lake. Um, so Reggie was rescued by city employees and actually brought to the zoo here and now he hangs out over there in his little uh, confinement over there. Just so straight up chilling. Just chilling. Alright, just got our food here. This one is the Reggie burger named after Reggie. It's a double patty with jalapeno cream cheese and um, I think there's like a barbecue aioli in it. Sounds really good. And the fries look really good as well. Let's try one. Pretty good for, you know, theme park food. All right, this is not gonna look ladylike. <laughs> Cause it's pretty bad, pretty big. I keep this in just to help hold it together. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a bite with everything. It's pretty good. The um, jalapeno cream cheese gives it a little bit of a kick and creaminess. And the barbecue only kind of brings a sweetness. And the meat tastes like real meat, so that's always good. Not bad. Try mine. So this one is also a double patty and it has grilled onions and a special sauce and uh, American cheese. It essentially kind of sounds like an In-N-Out burger, so I'm kind of excited to try it. Let's try this. <laughs> Which one's better? They call this one the LA Classic for a reason. It literally kind of tastes like an In-N-Out burger. So, it's not as adventurous. I think I like the veggie bur burger better. But this one's a solid burger too. They actually do a pretty good job. Let's go to the left. Where's Pumba? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. It's Bambi. It's Bambi. It's Bambi. <laughs> Huge. Because they're reptiles and cold-blooded, they really can't do much when it's cold weather like today. <laughs> Seems like uh, half the exhibits are closed due to COVID. I know, but I mean, the tickets were only 22 bucks. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Hello, oh, bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. How are you doing? Fussy, yeah. that's oh. possible. You actually hit her nose. What's up, girl? Say hi to daddy. You want to see some animals? <laughs> I think that is a yes. A little chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. <laughs> oh, dude, I want a churro. Man, I got a churro. <laughs> So we have here a regular churro. I want to say it's a little denser than like the Disneyland churro. Disneyland churro is a little magical. This one is like the average theme park churro. Yeah, but what about this? Now that is the churro sundae. Comes with vanilla ice cream, some fudge or chocolate sauce, and whipped cream on top with a couple pieces of churros. That I'm excited for. I'll trade you. Say hello to Kayla. She made a little appearance today. Hello. Mmm. <laughs> the chocolate sauce tastes like Hershey's. Can't really go wrong. I love vanilla ice cream, so can't Would go wrong there again? either. Huh? Would you get it again? I get it again if I come back here. It's pretty good. I think it's better than just the regular churro by itself. Because you get the, the treat of having an ice cream, you know? All right, let's go see some koalas. Yay! Couldn't find any koalas, man. I'm really sad. They're like kind of a spirit animal. They sleep like 18 hours a day and get high off of eucalyptus leaves. We should cut that part out. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. We should go find the giraffes. Yes, I love giraffes and the purple tongues. And I want to see the elephants. What was that? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not a piece of meat. We made it to the Elephant Plaza. There's the elephant here and over there there's going to be more elephants as well. I'm excited! They're so cute for such big animals. Game. So if a giraffe were to wear a necktie, would it be worn at the top of the neck or the bottom of the neck? Answer in our comments below! I loved it. I can't wait for Kayla to be older so she can really appreciate it. It's much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's also because we're both used to going to like San Diego Zoo, which is a lot bigger. I, uh, I still liked it. It had a good amount of animals. 
Yeah, and it's closer. So There's a lot of exhibit, <laughs> a lot of exhibits are closed, but it's not. It's better than. It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think all the indoor exhibits are the ones that are closed. Hopefully, when this is all over, we can come back and see all the animals. Yep. Hi. So we're done with the zoo today. Um, a lot of the exhibits are again closed, and also even though they're open till five, um, a lot of the animals go start going it back into their cages or whatever at four. So make sure you try to get an earlier reservation if you want to just enjoy it all day. Um, I had a great time. I wish Kayla could have enjoyed it more, but we'll have to come back in the future. Thanks, See you guys. next time. Bye.